Hello, my name is John Michael O'Brien and I'm an Inside Application Engineer for Keysight Technologies. Uh, today what I'm going to talk to you about is how to pick the right methodology for automating your logic analyzer. Uh, there are different ways to go about automating the logic analyzer and it depends on exactly how in the process you ultimately want to do it. If you look at what we've got here you'll notice that the normal stack as it were for communicating between the logic software and the actual analyzer is through this logic analyzer service. So normally we would just simply automate the logic and protocol analysis software through the host link into the logic analyzer service and then ultimately to the hardware. So when we come to write our own user application, then the most direct approach is just simply connect directly to the logic and protocol analysis software. Uh, with the logic software, this is done through COM. So the nice thing about COM is, is that it allows you to directly connect to the memory space for the protocol analysis software, and ultimately you just simply call functions that produce the various effects on the logic analyzer. The problem with COM though is, is that it, it's local only. You have to run the software on the logic analyzer in order to do this kind of automation. And although you could conceivably write your own network protocol, uh, the more direct approach is to just to simply use distributed COM. Distributed COM is the same basic idea, excepting it takes advantage of Microsoft's already written APIs for remoting. Now, the good thing about distributed COM is, is that you get all the benefits of COM without having to be on the same computer. The bad thing about it, though, is, is that because it basically allows you to connect directly to the memory space of the logic and protocol analysis software, you're ultimately going to have to find some way of securing it. Uh, the thing is that this is a, a very open mechanism where you could directly execute remote code, so Microsoft has done a good job of clamping this down and making sure that it's very strictly regulated. The problem with it is, is that this doesn't work well in a lot of environments. Uh, the, most um, the most problematic one turns out to be if you have, for example, a domain controller that's, on your, that's managing your control PC and then have the logic analyzer in a work group and can't add it. Uh, imagine, for example, putting a crossover cable between a laptop and the analyzer itself. In this context, it's actually impossible because of the way Microsoft does the security, the logic analyzer has to be on the same domain as the control PC and vice versa in order for distributed comm security to work. So this makes it, in that environment, very, very complicated to use distributed comm. That said, we have a better option, uh, knowing, for example, that in that kind of context we don't have a domain controller in the middle and that we're, we're working on a direct LAN, we can then switch over to using a hosted, so, or basically a hosted setup. In the hosted setup, the logic and protocol analysis software ends up running on the control PC, and in all of these cases, you end up having to install it there anyway, uh, but here, you actually run it, truly run it, on the control PC, and basically turn off the logic and protocol analysis software on the analyzer itself. This then allows you to write COM programs, just like you had been on the analyzer, excepting they can run on a separate control PC that might be managing other instruments and not bogging down the analyzer with code that would basically slow down your acquisitions. So there's a lot of benefits to using this toasted link. It's technically quite a good measure and secure. So if you are going to have to connect the logic analyzer to a public network, this isn't the way to do it. But if you're ultimately working with the, uh, the analyzer, for example, on a local LAN, this is the best approach for getting that local LAN directly connected. We've talked about how to actually connect, and we, it turns out all of them require that you have COM. So what tools can you use to work with COM that are easy? Well, COM is a Microsoft product and by extension it works out that almost all the really great options are Microsoft products. Uh, Visual Basic for Applications and VB6, although those are both very old, uh, C Sharp and VB.net, uh, and also the latest versions of Visual C++ all have COM basically built in, so you can just simply add a reference to the COM objects and call them as though they were part of your normal code. Uh, this is super convenient, very easy, uh, they have integrated debugging tools, it's really the most straightforward way of doing it. But there are other ways and other languages. The list I have here is not complete. There are more options. Uh, but Python, for example, uses TCOM. Perl will use Perl Control. Uh, you can do it in C and C++ if you call the COM API directly. And for that matter, any language that can call Windows DLLs directly can take advantage of COM by way of calling the COM API. This is involved. Uh, to suggest that it's a trivial implementation would be horribly remiss, and by extension then you will definitely want to come into that knowing COM or you'll want to bias towards one of the languages that either has a, a built-in module like Python or Perl or just simply handles it directly, uh, VBA, C Sharp, VB.NET, etc. 
Um, that said, once you've selected your language and uh, selected your network topology, this will allow you to automate the logic analyzer, and you can do pretty much anything you can do from the remote interface. Uh, this particular video won't cover the specifics of how to go about that process. I'll see if I can follow up with a video similarly. But that said, you can also find a lot of information about what you actually can do and how to go about it within the logic analyzer help file under the help topic com automation. I'll include a link to this in the description. That said, thanks a lot for watching and hopefully this has given you a, a good head start on how you're going to automate your logic analyzer.